Hey, what's up? It's Fikri here. You're watching Makan Minum Kopi on Her.TV. So I'm a huge fan of Arab food. It's, it's actually very healthy. You get chickpeas, shawarma, kebab, lamb, chicken, good source of protein. So I've always been out and about looking for the best Arab food places. And I found one right here in TTDI. It's called Turkish Cafe Istanbul. Let's check them out. So I'm a huge fan of Arab food. Kebab is the ultimate dish for me. It's really healthy. It has uh, lots of protein, good for working out. So I've always been out and about looking for the best you know, Arab food places here in KL and it's, it's, it's kind of hard to find, it's quite limited. So it's good to know there's actually one here in TTDI, which is near my house actually. I, I was really happy when I saw this earlier. I came into the restaurant, it looked really cozy. It, it smells Turkish and that's a good thing. <sighs> So the food is finally here. Coming to try, it looks really delicious. If only you could smell through your computer screen or TV, whatever you're watching this on, it smells really good. Coming to try. So I, I, I know the food pretty much from my stay uh, in Egypt. So this is called hummus. It's actually very high in protein, it's really good. It's made from chickpeas. This is uh, baba ganoush. It's made from uh, eggplant. This is dolma. It's actually wrapped with um, great leaf. So we get it with pizza bread. So what we do is we dip it in. I was told the taste is actually, although it looks similar with um, other Arab food, uh, like the ones you find in Egypt, the taste is actually different. You're right. It's different in a super good way. So let's try the baba ganoush. This is made from eggplant. Wow, there's a tangy taste to it. So this is um, thicker with a bit less spice. Well, this is um, a bit more tangy with a twist of toffee taste to it. So now let's try dolma. Dolma is actually rice wrapped in um, great leaf. How do you describe it? It's like, I guess if we're Malaysian, it's like eating a bit the pulut, but soaked in, um, I'm not sure if it's vinegar or what, but it tastes really good. So we're done with the appetizer part of things. Next up, let's try the main dish. We got all the meat right here, served with fries and pizza bread. So let's take a bite of the spicy chicken. I guess the spice level is a tad different. You can taste coriander in this. A lot of different spices compared to our sambal nasi lemak. This is not that spicy at all. It's like out of five, this is one. So yeah, you're good. All right, let's try this uh, meatball. Garlicky in a mayonnaise kind of way, if that makes sense. It's just interesting how the the taste is not really in your face kind of taste. Although they, 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 they say it's, it's garlic, homemade sauce. That's not the garlicky, and the tomato's not so tomato-ish. So you get, it's not too much to handle the different tastes in your mouth. So it's time for dessert, and I was told <laughs> this is plain cheese and dough. It smells good, however, it's, like, it's kind of like creme brulee, but it's not, so let's give it a shot. It's cheesy, but it's sweet. It's really good stuff. Crunchy, syrupy, sugary, with cheese. That's part of it. Interesting. I guess on your cheat days, this is exactly what you should have. The dessert, the plate is pretty shallow. So you don't have to eat a lot. After a while, you might get gelat, but yeah, a good portion is the best way to end your meal. We are gonna finish our Turkish cuisine experience today with none other than Turkish coffee. Of course, we need Turkish coffee because it's before This is the 100% Arabica coffee. Side fire first. There we go. First and foremost, you put water. And then you put one and a half teaspoon of coffee. Let it boil for about a minute. So how do you know when the coffee is ready? When it starts bubbling, the initial bubbling, you gotta turn off the fire, pick it up, and put it in this nice cup. We smell the coffee right now. All right, here is the moment of truth. I'm gonna drink the coffee that I boiled myself earlier. Let's see if it tastes good. It is served in this really nice, made and crafted. So let's give it a shot. Moment of truth. How should I say it's like espresso, but on a much higher level. The aroma is super good, however. But yes, if you've always complained that you know your coffee is not calm enough, or you know if the coffee is not strong enough for you, Turkish coffee is the way to go. 
Alright, there you go, our very own experience of Turkish cuisine right here at the Turkish Cafe Istanbul in TTDI. Fikri here, I've had an amazing time trying out all this Turkish food. You know what, if you want to try Turkish food, this is the best way to start. And there's no better way to end our episode of Makan Minum Kopi on her.tv this time around by having your very own boiled Turkish coffee. Cheers.